So a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video for buyers letting them know about all of the new changes starting August 17th. This week, we're gonna focus on the seller side. What should sellers expect with all of the new changes coming about on August 17th? So big changes are coming to the real estate market starting August 17th. A couple weeks back, I did post a video for buyers letting them know what to expect with these new changes. This week, we're gonna be talking about the seller side of things and how all of these changes will affect the selling side of a real estate transaction. Hello, my name is Tiara and I am a local real estate agent here in the Middle Tennessee area. I post weekly videos of all things Middle Tennessee, including property tours, buyer tips, and seller tips. If this is something of interest to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I post a new video. So today, we're diving into what the recent NAR settlement means for you as a home seller. Let's get started. As a home seller, you have many options when it comes to listing your home. Working with the realtor can help you navigate through the complex process and make the best choices for you. This recent settlement from NAR, the National Association of Realtors, has led to several changes related to how broker commissions will be paid. Let's break down what this means for you. According to the lawsuit, sellers claimed NAR's rules inflated at buyer's commissions. But Charlotte realtor Grace Walser said there's a little confusion surrounding what sellers had to pay from their home sale. They were feeling like they had to pay the buyer's agent commission out of the funds they were receiving, she said. But in reality, the listing agent is charging them a fee and that listing agent is then choosing to split that however they decide with the buyer agency. So when you sign a listing agreement with the realtor in the contract, there is a section for the commission. Sometimes realtors will put 6% down and then that 6% would go to the brokerage, the listing brokerage, and then the listing brokerage would then split that commission with the buyer's agent. That way every party in the transaction is getting compensated. The commission on the contract has always been negotiable. It has never been a set rule that the commission has to be a certain amount. So beginning August 17th, listing agents can no longer advertise the commissions being offered to a buyer's broker in the MLS, which is the multiple listing service here in Nashville is real tracks you can still offer compensation to the buyer's broker. This can help market your home and make it more attractive to buyers. Starting August 17th, listing agents can no longer advertise commission fees or how much you're willing to pay the buyer's broker on the MLS. So your realtor must clearly tell you about any payment or offer of payment being made to a buyer's broker and they must get your approval first. Of course, all of this information should be written into your contract. So make sure that you go over the contract in detail with your realtor before you sign. So even though the commission is no longer gonna be advertised on the MLS, it's still a great idea to offer that commission to buyers brokers. Many buyers might find it hard to pay their agent commission out of pocket, especially first time home buyers. Offering a commission can get your home more exposure from potential buyers. Buyers agents are more likely to show homes who are offering some type of concessions. Again, this will make it easier for their clients and the home buying process. So when me and my family were first time homeowners and we purchased our first home, we benefited greatly from the seller offering to pay our buyer's commission. It made it possible for us to even become homeowners. With this in mind, continuing to offer a commission can help more buyers afford your home. Now, let's talk about what this settlement doesn't change. Realtors are still here to help sell your home and must work in your best interest. The payment for your agent is still negotiable. That has not changed. If your agent is a realtor, they must follow the Realtor Code of Ethics. When choosing your agent, make sure you discuss how they will get paid and what you wanna to offer to buyers. So working with a realtor can help you through this complex process. Remember, you have choices. Work with your agent to understand all of your options when selling your home. This will help you make the best decision for your needs. You can still decide how much to offer the buyer's broker and how to present your home on the market. In summary, this NAR settlement is supposed to make changes to make things more clear and give you more control over how your payment is handled. If you have any questions or need help with any of these new rules, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to help make your home selling process as smooth as possible. 
My cell phone number is 931-486-4537.